today going to help me out demonstrating some common mistakes that we see here on a plank and how to do them correctly. So Ashley, let's go ahead and get down and getting a correct plank. So as you can notice, her wrists are right beneath her shoulders. She has a completely flat back. Her feet are shoulder width apart. This has engaged her shoulders, her core, and her legs. So whole body, total movement, she's working that core. Common mistake is to raise your hips up in the air to take that core workout. So now all the weight is now in your hands and it's resting in your toes. Another mistake is to drop the hips, showing that weakness. Now, as you can see, she had to round her shoulders back, engage her back even more. And now she's not getting that core work in. That is a common mistake here. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is show the option for a plank. Traditionally, always option, let's go ahead and drop down to those knees would be that first option. So we're still in the high plank. Her whole body is completely straight. Everything is symmetrical. Her core's engaged. The weight is relaxed between her knees and her shoulders, okay? So now, a traditional mistake we see is that you wanna take the core out of it. So you wanna just go ahead and bring it back Okay, now your core is not fully extended. So now your weight is just symmetrical knees and shoulders. You're not working your core. It's really just gonna be all your weights in your hands. Another common error for a plank would be to sag your hips completely down. So now again, all that tension is gonna be in your shoulders instead. Hardly anything's on your knees, nothing's going on in that core. So you're not getting the full benefit of that exercise if you don't have that complete flat back throughout your movement. Another example of this would be a push-up. So actually, let's go back into a traditional plank. When you go into a push-up, that whole body is completely flat. So go ahead and bend your elbows. Let's drop to that push-up, push back up. Same thing, an option. When you drop to your knees for that push-up, you need to keep that flat back still. So again, drop into that push-up coming up. Her core is still engaged. It's still equally balanced out. That common error is to bring those hips back. You want to get that little bird dog position and just drop that upper body. Now we're not working that whole body. So guys, that's what we wanted to show you today with those planks. We hope you found that this helpful and meaningful and hope that you use this in your next class. That you guys, we'll see you next.